Today at the visitors to Bloomfield Road at Exeter, it is Steve Bruce's first game in charge as manager. I'm looking forward to seeing kind of what he's going to do, what he's going to change. I hope we're going to get our first win. I'd love him to get off to a great start. Blackpool need this win, it's really important. I've no guests today, this is one of the weeks I just couldn't get anybody to step in for me. There's more to come in the future, so we're just back to a normal blog today. But let's get down to Bloomfield Road and let's see how Blackpool get on. Yeah, that's good. Teams have just come out. Just in time. Players just coming out. And that's all we've kicked off. That's your team for today. Tyra Inet, husband Gabriel Norburn, Evans, Joseph Ballard, Casey Hamilton, a fire. Oh, CJ there, just coming across the cross. There's a chance, corner to Blackpool. Could have been a couple of goals up actually. Chances for blue crosses, but we've got to set them in and we need to lift the ball. One the look, CJ Hamilton. I don't know, but fortune in the fact that it kind of slightly deflected off the defender and just powered it away from the goalkeeper, but we'll take that. We deserve it, but have been on top so far. It could be four or five, but we're still one nil. Just can't. A couple of one of ones with the keeper. Not scored. So frustrating at the moment. Could be clear. You always worry about Blackpool going to let one in. Four minutes. Four minutes to go. Three, two. Oh. Right, it's half time. Blackpool should be out of sight, if I'm being honest, really. It's been the better team. Could have had four to five on another day. Just hold that doesn't come back to bite in the second half. Hopefully, we continue playing the way we have. First off, hopefully Steve Bruce makes a couple of changes and maybe, you know, brings Beasley and Rhodes on, players that can actually score. It's been a shame we've had a couple of one-on-ones with the keeper, fluffed our lines twice, but it's encouraging, it's exciting. It's the kind of football that we want to see, you know, we want to see this exciting football and it has been a lot more attacking than we had under Critch, for sure. I don't know how many shots we've had first half, but boy, there's a lot more than we had with Critch, so it's looking good. It is looking good, so hopefully we can get three points today. That's all we can do this. We've moved the digits on the clock so we can't actually see the clock anymore, which is great for me. This time we just got all we can see is the seconds, but um, right. for the moment struggling to get into this half, Exeter come out, fire up with Otto talking to him half time. Let's hope Lockham can get back in charge of this game, but not at the moment. The exercise is clearly fancy in this, making three substitutions now. Still can't tell you how, how far is the game we are, no idea, because of that clock. But uh, yeah, he, he must think he's got a chance. Go ahead, thoughts, Pickle, at the moment. I think it's really good to watch. I think we're dominant. A lot of good passing. It's just that last yeah, final that, third. Is, final yeah. ball. Final, final pass. ball. Yeah, it's some really good forward. Oh, the decision play. making. We've had, uh, no, I'm not taking a shot when it's all clear. We're on the attack here. Just watch this through. Actor into the box. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah. 
Well, it's a shoot quicker. Like yeah. taking one too many touches. Yeah. Just, just get the ball and shoot or get the ball and pass is just, just a bit quicker for me. That's what I like. But, um, you know, there is this fear that Exeter could just get back into this game. Just one mistake. You know, they are so looking a little bit more dangerous, aren't they? Three substitutions as well. He's going for it, isn't he? They are, they are going for it. We just need, do need to be careful at the back. But they're still dominating, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Hamilton's coming on. It's Hamilton off, Abter off. CJ off. Crossing on. It's like the polar opposite to the first half, I've got to say. Uh, Exeter, a little bit all over us. Uh, just then, though, there was a handball that stopped a one on one. Referee completely ignored it, which the crowd are not happy about. But can Black can get a, a cushion? We need, it. we need another goal. We really do. Well, Black, that's a good one. This is dangerous. Come on, Kiki, you've got to get to it. Well, it's been coming. It's been coming. It's been coming. It has been coming. Blackpool just not the races this hour. Five minutes extra time. Ooh. Ooh, look at one of these guys. He's still got a tap, he's still going. Late corner, can we get some? James Osman scored again. James Osman! Go on, Blackpool! Can we hold on now? How long to go? It can't be long, surely. Oh, come on! Should have won it! Nearly did it! It's only got to be about a minute to go, surely. Can we hold James Osman scoring in like the 94th minute or something. Fumble would make it up. Oh. Carlsberg great football there, football ending. This is it. Don't make last minute goals. Come on! We'll hold on to this now. Oh, been through the mill today, folks. We really am. That'll be tight, surely. When did Beesby come up? Well, we've only got five minutes. We're still playing. Crowd of blood. Hope you, hope you enjoyed this video. It's been, uh, it's been a lot of it. It's been a tough second half. Really excellent reserve and equaliser. But Blackpool, all the balance of play for the whole game really deserved the win. We should have been out of sight half time. It's a win. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. A little button down there. If you haven't yet subscribed. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. We've got a guest coming in on the next video. Be last minute goals. That's a great start for Bru Steve Bruce. Nearly blew it, didn't we? But hey, I'll take those three points all day long. And Exeter making the fatal mistake of giving it to our fans large too early.
too early. They started give, doing the fire drill song too early. And they got it, and they got it shoved right back up, didn't they? Perfect.